town has taught me is uh, you do take things for granted and uh, the great outdoors being one of them so uh, in Wales as I live we're able to get out and about still and uh, I'm up in uh, Snowdon area at the moment and uh, making the most of that fresh air uh, but yeah we're going to look at a golf club uh, we're going to look at uh, two we're going to look at the P770 the P790 it's long irons and trying to identify what are the differences don't worry we ain't going to be hitting any golf uh, balls up here we're down at Conway Golf Club and uh, at Four Golf some data and uh, we'll try and make some sense of this one it's another interesting one and believe me there is a difference between these two irons now you all know I love a backdrop and that's a backdrop at Slin Padan for those of you who are interested and to my left you won't see it today with this mist is uh, Snowden but P770, P790 massive irons for tailor made both of them extremely popular in terms of sales and what splits them? speed foam injection identical they look very similar smaller profile of P770 was introduced for the player and there's a bit of loft difference but there's also another major difference that splits these two clubs when I tried both on testing and out there on the course I need something to eat right back off the mountain onto the course less breezy at Conway Golf Club I can tell you that much I wouldn't have fancied a couple of five irons into the breeze off the top of that hill but the performance out here on the course is interesting it's where it starts off the difference that we see two balls I've just teed off with what splits them is a few yards which in all honesty we've not got there yet but in terms of dry ball data that's exactly what we've seen and that's relative to loft as you can imagine but the major difference is not where they finish but it's how they get from A to B and you've probably seen it already but that's where the major difference lies and that's where choosing these irons that factor that we're going to get to is what would be it'll play a major part in whether you like or don't like that element i'll get to it in a minute that was a decent ball in and uh, ball flight again that was the P770 before we talk about that ball flight let's go and have a look at some dry ball data break down the numbers and then we'll have a closer look at exactly what happened with that ball flight and how it perhaps differs from the P790 these two clubs just go like absolute Miles. What are they on that? A five iron. That's what I said. Yeah. You go for miles, but I'll keep. I think it's really easy to get obsessed with data and uh, almost get misled by it at times. But I think what's been interesting in this is that I want to point out this video first of all started off as purely um, a long iron test, trying out five irons in P770 and P790. And I suppose the thing I was looking at was which was the easiest to play um, for average golfers. But once I started recording data, which is where this thing started, there was something that highlighted straight away. I noticed it when I was hitting the balls down at four golf. And then when I compared them both together in terms of the data, it, was, it highlighted a massive difference between the two clubs. And like I said, it then went onto the golf course and the exact same thing happened. So here's the data that I gathered at four golf and we'll break it down a little bit. What I wanna say first of all, both of these sets of numbers are incredibly good numbers. I mean, spin rate 47684404, I'd take that all day long on a five iron, 189 carry on the 770, 195 on the 790. I was surprised that the gap wasn't bigger because to be quite honest with you, with that sort of one and a half degrees worth of loft, I suppose maybe I suppose between five and ten yards in and around there. So, but yeah, a little surprised. 
128 ball speed, 132 ball speed, and then these are the two numbers that uh, we're now getting down to what these differences are. 12.2 launch angle on the P790, 15 degrees on the P770. Then take a look and jump forward to peak height. 96 feet average peak height on the P770, 81 peak height on the 790, land angle 45 degrees as opposed to 40 degrees. Now that's a huge, huge difference. Massively different in terms of its ball flight. And it will, like I said, make a huge difference to how you decide or to determine what you want from your long irons. Now for me, what I recognize straight away that the P770 just jumped out at me in terms of what it did in terms of ball flight, because it's not just that it's launching high, the spin number is really good. So it's not launching and floating and going nowhere. It's still moving forward. It's a 189 carry. It's got 4768 spin and it's got that land angle and descent angle. So for me to be hitting a long iron in with those kind of numbers, it was an incredibly positive element to the review that only putting them side by side would I recognize, I recognize visually what the difference was straight away. Uh, but it is playing them side by side and that again goes back to that important element of testing clubs and go back to the club before uh, the course before I finish what I did say out there uh, and that was the second part of the test by the way it really did do exactly that out on the test the launch conditions were totally different a lot flatter ball fight on the 790 and again arguably playing down in links conditions that lower ball flight some people might get more benefit from that, may prefer that ball flight. But for me, I really like this P770 in terms of what it did in terms of ball flight. Surprised in terms of the way that the ball uh, launched high, but kept moving forward and then coming down. Every ball I hit, they were pretty much set. When they were both hit purely enough, the difference in terms of yardage carry was insignificant. So the yardage gain of the stronger lofted P790 meant nothing to me. I didn't feel as though that uh, was any gain whatsoever that I was looking for, but that ball flight from the 770 was. Oddly enough, again, I preferred the smaller profile. I didn't uh, find it any more difficult to hit. I didn't feel it, find it any more difficult to, uh, to get airborne in terms of CG. I had a look, even checked in terms of the offset. They said there's less offset on the P770. There's one millimeter uh, at the five iron. So it's again, negligible. But for me, all around that package, and again, I always say it, this is where the disclaimer comes in. These are all preferences for me and me only. So I, look, I preferred the way the 770 looked more compact. Didn't feel as though I lost anything from it in that smaller profile. In fact, like I said, I preferred it sat behind the ball. The way the ball performed, in terms of that launch was massive and not losing out anything in terms of yardage. So to hit a five iron, 190 yards, bang on a button for me, really good number. Then you're looking at our next question will be in the future videos is what would you do next? Would you go to the four iron or is that as long as you need to go now perhaps in your five iron in the bag and then you start stepping into maybe hybrids, maybe seven woods, those kind of things to make this game a little bit easier. But that's a, another video for another day. That's me done. Uh, like I said, the key message is again, go out and test the clubs. And if you can get older, I know you can't always play the five iron or the longer irons when you're doing uh, uh, a testing and a custom fit because it's always seven iron. But there is, there is the option to go to demo days and you'll get a, a more accessible range to try. And I think that's uh, a really important thing to do. Anyway, Friday afternoon, time for the weekend, bit of a chill, and uh, I'll see you back on Monday.